Good evening everybody. So it is a couple of minutes to eight o'clock and I thought I'd jump on so that everyone had time to come and find me. I've had to um, put this live on uh, a second uh, <clears throat> broadcast. I don't know where the first one went. Um, it was trying to tell me I was on a different broadcast so I quickly rescheduled it and brought it in. So hopefully you guys are able to find this one. So I'm just going to give it a few minutes until make sure that I've popped up on everyone's screen and everyone who is with me who wants to be with me. So hello Nikki and hello Kerry. Um, I've got 33 people watching me, so that's good news. So people I've obviously found me, which is great because I had to um, when I went into Streamyard, um, it told me that I I didn't exist and I was a grey seal. I thought heck, and I didn't know if I edited this or what it would let me. So I thought it was easiest just to. Um, quickly run through it and redo it so but it looks like i've got everybody wow 60 people gosh this is getting <laughs> this is getting quite scary well when i first started doing it was like my person so hello julie oh julie i can see who you are tonight so julie and linda and karen and pauline and lorraine and sarah and uh belinda and i think i've got everyone who's going up your list there so um right I'm going to try and be calmer today, would you believe, because this is quite tricky. So I want to um, take it a bit slower to try and get this guy up, mostly because I'm doing it on an 8 inch. So we are having a look at this fallow deer, little baby. But that doesn't give me enough information. Um, uh, yeah, I can see, but it's not giving me enough information. So the one I'm actually going to be working from the most is this one, which I think is a wooden carving, but it could be a clay carving. But either way, it shows me the shape a lot better than the other one. So I can map the two together, but I quite often use ornaments or um, chisels as my reference points. Because I find it easier to, to see the shapes on that. So that's why I've got the two printed out. So let me say... Good morning, Helen. Helen's my Australian buddy. Um, I've got a few Australians and New Zealanders Kiwis around, but um, I have a special plate in my pet special plate, special place in my heart. I see it, Helen. Uh, Maria's there. Anna's there. That's good. Uh, Jan's there. I have not got snow. We were promised snow. I've not got any, but that doesn't mean my Wi-Fi is going to be any better. I now have Wi-Fi up to like 60, 70 megs, and, and watch it still screaming. I've just decided that tech hates me at the minute, so we do our best. We do our best. Uh, Michaela, Bernice, hi Bernice, how you doing? Joanna, oh I've got everybody. <laughs> no pressure. I should try not to screw up for you. Right, eight inch cake. Oh, you're all mental making me do this in that eight inch cake. I get it, I do understand that you don't have enough people on lockdown to feed these cakes to, but you do make it blooming hard doing it as an eight inch cake. Right, I'm going to stop waffling. So, hi Lydia, Laura, we've got the whole crew. All right, should we just do this? I think I'll get everything. So first up, now I think we'll be okay with the ears because they're sticky out, but they're not so sticky out, are they? Um, we'll get away with it. Right, let's let's get the shape done. So we need to kind of do it slightly. We are round, but we're not round. We're sort of like um, we've got an arch going on, haven't we? And then we've got this neck. So shall I just I just bosh on with it and see what happens? Um, stop talking about the snow. God damn it. Helen, tell me about the 40 degrees. Helen, Helen will be on my side. You don't need snow tonight. Thank you very much. Right. Should we do it? Who's doing this along with me? Okay. Just one thing. You guys keep um, bugging me and, and saying, like, uh, you know, I didn't get this bit of the tutorial or that bit of the tutorial. That's because they're not tutorials, okay? There is no way in hell these are tutorials. These are fast sculpts, mucking around, giving you an idea of what you can achieve, um if you put your mind to it and those of you who are loopy enough to give them a go then that's bad but please don't think these are my tutorials because my tutorials are so in-depth they're like pages and pages long they're they're five six hour video tutorials they're on the school school.thecakevisions.co.uk if you want to find the tutorials that's where they are these are muckabouts they're stuff that you can do in you know 45 minutes an hour kind of thing just have a bit of a play okay um, before anybody says, oh, you didn't teach this properly, I'm not trying to teach you, I promise. I'm not trying to teach you. I'm just mucking about. All right, so let's have a go. Um, I will say hello to the rest of you. So hello, Danielle. 
Uh, Laura's got the subtitles on. Subtitles make me talk more rubbish than I do, and believe me, I do talk rubbish. So um, the subtitles are, are worse. So I want to try. I'm going to stand up, get rid of the chair. Um, uh, do you like? Do you like? This is my this is my dress, but it's um, I'm still wearing it. <sighs> oh God! Right here we go. So we need to get this back carved because we need to sort this shape out. Uh, try not to lose my hand because that's not the kind of video you need to see. I'm going to just take some of the height off this cake. Um, this one got left in the oven too long earlier because I was trying to juggle paring things at the same time. So let's just get some of the height off this without. I said I'd slow down, didn't I? And now I'm speeding up. Silly. I'm just getting some of the height off. Now we've got to get his head out of this shape, like we did with the fox. I didn't put my bin in this time, so I'm just having to flip cake across the rink. Let's get some of the height off. The biggest mistake is to leave too much height on your animal cakes. Animals, when they're laid down, are quite flat. They're curved over, but they're not sort of like big chunks. But I'm just going to bring this down. I know I've got his leg here, but I just still need to get some height off. All right, let's try and put this back leg in. I will definitely look around the camera here. So back leg. Now with our fox, we, we left a sort of a small triangle here, but our deer here has a, a longer face. So I'm going to carve it, and I want a longer back, so I'm going to go for about halfway, but watch my knife angle, I'm going in an angle. So I'm going to try and slant that bit there. You, know, you should just do this on a bigger cake and feed all your neighbours, rather than uh, rather than terrorising me. Do this on a small. See, I've got a longer bit here, that's what I'm aiming for. And I'm going to cut round a wedge here. So this is I'm going to aim for my head shape to come out of this. Okay, so there's my head. I'm just going to put it on one side. There. Now I've got a neck here, so uh, a fox. Our fox just sort of ended and then the head. We've got a neck on here, so I'm going to curve in a bit here, and I'm going to leave this bit here. Because I want a bit of a neck. Hang on, let me just try and do that. So I'm going to wedge, um, put a groove in here so that the back leg has an actual sort of shape rather than it just being a solid line that's attached to the body. It's not, the back leg is curved in, you've got a groove there. I will just work forward. So this is going to be a shoulder here. I'll just work forward a little bit. This is a ridiculous thing to try and do with an 8 inch cake, I warn you. Here we've got neck. So let's come in and just give a little bit of a shoulder there and then come into that neck. The neck will make more sense in a bit, he says, hopefully. Cake going everywhere. Okay, so you've got shoulder, leg, leg. Shoulder, back, and then we're into a neck shape. So the neck comes to the top of the head. So let's just curve it in a little bit, drop it down a little bit so it's not too much. And then we need a head. We've got cake around. Um, do you know, Anne and Anne saying, how on earth I work at West Cut? I, I, I just do. Um, I'm making up as I go along with this one because you lot. I'm, if I did the thinness with a decent size 12 inch, then I could do a nice template and it would all be good. But um, you all keep making me do things out of tiny cakes. So. But you know what? If it works, then wicked. So now I've got the back leg. That bit I can do. I can see it. I've got the back leg curved in. And then what I'm looking for, can you see that? You've got, where are you? You've got a neck here that's curving round. That's what I'm just neck shape. If you didn't have that neck shape there, and you would be struggling, so I popped it a little bit in cake. Hello, Sue. She's my other one who's from the other side of the world. 
So let's pop the head back on for a second just so you can see it. I'm just going to try and move back so you can see it. So this is our shape that we have to, this is what we've got left to work from, but I reckon we can do it, you know. We blunt off the end of the nose. Coming back up. I'm holding on to it because I'm working around my phone. So I don't know if you can hear my little girl screaming back there. Right, so that I reckon is a pretty good shape. Let's just carve in a little bit. Right, I'm going to move to my small knife in a minute. Now this has got to be quite small. Remember your body shape's really small, so your head's not going to be too big. So here we go, I've stopped into my other knife. So I'm going to bring the muzzle down, but we're a deer. We're not a dog, are we? So we're just going to sort of come down a bit, a bit like a cow shape rather than a dog shape. We don't want that really steep steep shape. We just want we want it to come down but not in a big swoop. And then this is obviously way too high now so it will just come up over the top. Well, I'm trying to get my hand out the way so you can do anything. Your ass is getting tiny now. So the head goes to about the top of the neck so we can kind of mirror them in. I'm just going to keep carving this head down a bit. I don't want to have a massive bit. Get that out of there. So let's square off the neck back. And we kind of got our shape of sorts. Just going to have a look at that again. Um, I'm just going to take a bit off the bottom. I thought mine was just running a bit high. It's easier to take off the bottom and change the shape than it is to do. Yeah, I think about it looks like a little dragon now. And I'll, you just bring it back in. There, dragon. So I like this neck shape. We can mess about with it in icing or in the flushing bit, but I like the fact that at least we've kind of recognised it's there in the cake. I'm just going to bring it back a bit. Because your deer does have quite a good neck. You've got leg there, leg there. Tucked in, legs coming down here. Okay, so one more thing. Ooh, cake everywhere. This is too high. This sits at the height of the um, back at the minute. And as you can see on our picture, it actually carves down. So I'm just going to move it up for a second. And drop this down. And I can give it a little curve round at the same time. So now our ears got a proper bum shape. Let's just soften this inside edge in, so it's not so severe. And then obviously we're going to have the leg coming under here, so that's going to sit pretty high. Yeah. Shoulders, legs. All right, good. I'm happy with that. Um, I've got to get rid of this cake, and I've got no where to go. In. All right. Okay. That's annoying, I hear it today. Oh, for the love of Kate. Right, let's get that all out there. How have we got? Uh, good evening, Marina. Hello. Yes, Lisa's throwing challenges at me. Kate looks great. She does. Is that the small knife? No, the small knife is still massive. And I still miss I think I left it up at Carol's when I was teaching her dinner. Carol's got all that fancy stuff up there, hasn't she? And I bet it got put in the washing up. I'm on a 28, so I'll see if she's got a, um, a Verton Ups one. Um, it must have a new one. It's all good. Right, there we go. Look, we've made mini dragons. So let me just quickly crumb coat that. Um, I've learned from these lives to do... Oh, God, now I've got cake all over the um, to thin my buttercream so that it goes on faster and easier. I'm just doing that. 13 minutes in, good grief, and we're on crumb coat. Okay, so we'll have a look at the minute whilst I crumb coat that. I tell you, I can even sit down. When we cover this, we will have to lift up the head to put on. You're going to have to pretend that I've filled this, okay? I won't tell anybody. 
so I haven't. I like my massive, my massive bread knife. Thank you very much. I like, you know, adds a level of threat. You never know whether I'm going to come out with two ears or one. It's all good. And by the way, good evening, Heidi. Heidi. Heidi is one of my longest suffering students. She's been around forever. So let's get this on. I know you all are on the community group, but if you if you're not, for goodness sake, the Cake Business Sculpting School community, it means when you have a go at these in lockdown any time you can actually post them up and lots of people will go ooh and ah and all sorts of nice things and if you're struggling then um, I can give you some hints and tips so from all the names I think you're all on there but just in case there's anybody lurking and hiding oh look I've got an angry face again I wish you lot would stop doing that <laughs> it's only cake there's nothing to be angry about I should start doing angry faces back that's my angry face. Hello, Phoebe. Okay. I tell you what, although these eight inch cakes are a pain, they're awfully fast, aren't they? Like, even the crumb coat is done in no time at all. I don't know why I've got my butter cream all the way over there. It's ridiculous. I'm having to stretch right the way across the table to fix it. This is going to be fun to cover, isn't it, with that great big gap out of there? Why did I do it on such a severe slant? All right. Let's just do that. Nicola, you never lurk. Ever. I don't believe you. They will be. Actually, there we go. Let's put this out there. Anyone who's on watching this, that hasn't commented before. I won't know. Come on, I'm putting myself through vast amounts of pain here doing a stupid eight inch cake. The least you can do is say hello. I promise you, ugh, nobody bites. Right. Waffle, waffle, waffle. Oh, God, how am I supposed to do this? It's tiny. Ugh. You're just nattering to yourselves, not asking me anything, just talking to each other. Oh, goodness me. I'll tell you, tiny cakes. Right, okay. I'm bored. I want that to do it, won't it? You don't need me to do my crumb coat properly, do you? I never do. Ugh. Okay, ah, right, tiny head. Okay, because we need the head to go on to the legs, we're going to have to move it to one side. I'm going to have to cover that. Hang on. Get in there. Okay, Ooh, everywhere. Right, come on. So let's cover this separately then. I'll get some more cake out again. So we've got that little neck coming down to your head, but we want to put a leg here. Let me just check on back on my screen. I've got you all wrapped up. Yeah, Deb, Deb, don't worry about it. I know the angry faces are by accident. I don't think I actually do anything to um, irritate anyone, but I do. I find them funny now. But every week there's at least one. But I know I'm only messing with you. Don't worry. I'm almost impossible to offend. I promise. Right. I'm really tempted to try and cover that in one, but I'm not going to. So let body covered. So I'm just going. To to move this head, sorry dear, literally, sorry dear. Just move the head out of the way and get the body, body covered, get the legs on and we'll put the head up. Alright, let's do it. Um, 
icing sugar. So we get the body covered now, which won't take long. Have a little fright with the sugar paste. So there isn't too much detail to add. I could add a little bit of the shoulder blades and actually where where she's leaning on, on this leg, you get a little bit. I might just sneak a tiny bit in there. Just because I can see it on the picture. Heidi said she had this picture saved for two years and not caked it. And oh, I see, I see what's going on here. Now you're making me do it. I got no room, as always. I reckon it'll work and it's a nice Easter one. Well, assuming it works, it's a nice Easter one as well, isn't it? Um, and again, it's 8 inch, so you can sell it for. Look, you've got no one to party with. This bit also feels like it takes me forever to get it rolled out. And my paste gets mucky as well, because I do it straight on top of the having carved the cake, which I would never normally do. I'd normally clean myself down. Hey, yo. What we are. This is a big ask in an hour, you know. Big ask. Let me have a look. Reckon that will go on? Well, it's cleaned by rolling, so I guess it's telling me to get on with it. All right then. Ooh. Right. Avoiding the camera. I'm going to give it a little bit of gap. Yeah, just a little bit extra because I've got to try and go into that groove. Oh, plenty, plenty. Oh, here we go. I did say I was going to put a bit here on the shoulder, didn't I? Rubbish. Hang on. Good as I will. Let me just pull it up. What about there? Where's the neck gone? Here, yeah, it's there then. Just because she's leaning over on the shoulder. All right, let me just tidy this up. So there's your neck. This is going into that groove. I'm trying to push it back into that groove. If I can get away with it, not her, that would kind of helpful. Just because she's quite smooth coat. Not completely smooth coat, but definitely not sort of like fox texture, so we can't really get away with screwing her up too much. Which is why you should make 8 inch foxes and not 8 inch deers. So here's the neck coming round. And that's our little sticky out shoulder, which is where the leg's going to come off. We'll worry about the head later. Let's get that one in. Am I on? It's a miracle. I'm, I've, I've not paired. I shouldn't say that because then I will. Right, let's just get this edge bit cleared away. And move on. Bum, bum, bum. Go around. Get in. This is a weird putting a long skinny neck on something. Not used to it. I've never done a deal before. So I'll finish tucking that round later. So you can see now, I've created, let me just check you're still looking at the same thing, because my, um, I've got a, a acrylic board on a turntable and they're skidding around all over. 
So you see here, I've created a little shoulder blade on the inside and a little shoulder blade on the outside. And let's get it. Okay, I'm going to um, build in. You can see a second part of the leg here, and I'm really tempted to put it in, but I'm not going to because it's an hour and that's an hour. Let's build in some legs. I know this is a bit weird, you're going to end up with a headless thing going on, but then. Um, where are you? Let me just put you back in. Just gone over this and that. Have you gone over that? Right, there we go. Can you see? Um, I see you're waiting enough. When cutting, do you use a straight blade or a separated blade? Um, it depends on the size I'm going for. So if I'm doing like long calves, so like shaping a back in, I'll use my large serrated, not a bit like if you're carving your wrist in and you can see, you know. Um, where I'm doing small details, then I will use a smaller knife. Uh, you want to see this, don't you? Oh, okay, hang on. Let me work it out to show you that. So I'm just working now on creating a back leg. It's not going to be perfect because it's an hour. Okay, so where are you? Um, I'm just smoothing this out, finding the smoothest. Let me just get the bits and the lines and stuff out of the way and then I'll bring it back over. So I want to create that leg that's going to go over her head. I'm struggling to get my pace to bathe. Going to go like that. And it's got to come, the next come in here, it's got to come. They've got very, very, very long legs. So let me just bring that back in. Stop nattering. I can't, you can't keep up with this. I do not use a samurai sword, good be. Okay. I'm just working this leg in here. And then we need tools. Right, we've got hoof. Sort of like the back, I guess it'd be like a dew claw on a dog. We've got something there I can see. And then we cut across. Like that. The hoop is side goes on. I'm just going to pinch it. Wait a minute. I'm going to come towards you so you can see. Right, and then there's a line. Oh, definitely went out. Okay, so that's one. Um, I'm trying to work out what to do with it this side. I know I should have done, and I didn't. So I'm just blending it in here and creating a line. Let me use my big wall tool to do it. So I'm pulling in a line here to give the start of the leg. And then down it, I'm going to have to do a blend. Which is exactly what I want to do on one hour. Oh well. Because the pace is fresh, it shouldn't be too hard to do a bit of water. That could be my juice. And I'm just going to blend these together so I get a good blend there and move the leg line now. So the leg line now isn't got there. He's lucky. The leg lines are there. You need a tutorial to understand that bit properly. <laughs> and I've got no way of doing it. 
Oh, I keep putting my finger in my juice. Don't do that. In your water pot. There, there, there. Right, there we go. So now you've got the legs going in there. Going up there. Going over there. So that's the back leg. The front legs, thankfully, are much easier. Because we only have to worry about that knee joint. First one's going to come under here. Because remember, she's leaned over on that shoulder. You see it on the picture if you look. Um, I'll put the other picture. So I know I've got the like the picture of the deer in the in the grass on my thingy, but I'll put the other picture up in the group so you see. So we go like that, bend it in half, and then the thing to see with these guys is they don't go one on top of each other like that. Okay, they go one slightly behind the other. So when animals sit with their legs like this, they don't sit one on top. They sit with one slightly behind the other. And if you want to. Give it a bit of that V shape. I'm just where have you gone? Sorry, off again. It's very hard to see where you are. Like that and like that and gives you a knee. Um, just cut it a little bit. Sainsbury's and um, this is a little paste again. Um, Sainsbury's or um, Select Island or two, I will happily use. And you can get it online, Select Island. You have to go to supermarkets. I prefer Sainsbury's. But then I'll, I'll also use Aldi. Anything that doesn't dry out on me. So that's the first one. Yeah. Um, and you don't have to worry too much about a blend because actually, if you think about how she's sitting, her body goes over that leg. So you would end up with a natural line there anyway where her body leans over it. That's one. The other one is going to come here, so I can just move this leg out a little bit. So we've got room for the other one, and then we'll get the head covered in on. What are we doing? Half up. So, Sue, what have you written, Sue? I've heard a rumour when cutting her children's hair, Hannah cut small animal shapes before practice. Just for practice. <laughs> so she cuts so good. I don't cut my kids' hair. I've done a lot of these. Not a deer, but what's the difference between a deer and a horse or, you know, whatever. They're all the same, isn't it? So let's just do, I'm getting these quite mucky. So normally I would clear up the clean. So I'm just going to do the other one. Push in there, push in there to get your knee going. This one's okay, but we don't need to see it because the head. So, but if we put that bit there, that's going to help us support our head, isn't it? So let's just pop that there for now and we'll worry about it if we need to when we've got the head on. This looks really weird at the minute, doesn't it? We don't normally do them like this, but it's your fault for asking for weird things. All right, so we need to get the head covered. Um, so shall I just move this off for a minute? And pop our head back on. Yeah, sticky. So our hair, oh, I'm putting on cake. Um, let's just put on, let me just have a look at the other picture. Can't see it on either picture. I've not got a good face reference for it, so we'll have to make it up. But I'm going to do, can you see that? Yeah. Um, the normal pattern, which is, And some eyes. Prey animal, so size, side. Prey animal, so eyes go on the side of the head. So, I'm just widen that bit out. Bits underneath. <laughs> the morning says, Hi, Hannah, I'm never going to catch up with all these cakes. That's okay. I suspect it's going to be quite a long year. I don't suspect we're going to be going anywhere particularly fast. So I think there is plenty of time. Um, I'm going to just narrow these down a bit. I don't want them to be so big, actually. I can end up with a dinosaur, not careful. So let's just get those in. Um, and then I'm going to do a widened out muzzle. As well. 
Let me go here. So I'm widening the muzzle so I can square it off. Because they've got, again, they, they, they're quite cow like to me now. Oh, sorry. Press the camera. Now I'm looking. So I want to be able to square off the front of the nose. All right, so let's get that covered. I'm going to use a bit of fresh paste. Oh. We'll put the ears on once we've got her head in place. I think that's probably the easiest way to do it. I'm just doing a head piece. We've got quite a blunt end. We don't want to go to too much of a point. I'll just wrap that round there. My hands are in the way again as usual. I'm just kind of towards me so I can just see a bit. It's really hard constantly working at an angle because I can't really see what I'm doing. Just make sure her eyes aren't getting too high. Okay, I think um, let's get her in place and then work on the details. You could do it the other way around, you could get the head details done first and then pop her in place. But I think if we do that, the chance of us squishing the head details is working quite high as we move her across. So let's get the damage done first. And then we can fix what we need to fix. Are you in there, little dear? Let's see. Okay, so let's just grab that off. Put the strange headless one back. Check that you can see. Her under and then look. So I'm going to move this leg forward because this leg is the one that's going to support her head. Right, I'm just going to cut off a bit of the back of um, with putting the icing on, it's made it too. She's now sat there. I need to do some fixing neck stuff. But let's um, just get her eye features in because otherwise she'll dry out. So I'm just going to go with big, soft deer eyes. Sorry, guys. I just have to see what I'm doing. Mostly because I haven't got time to do anything else. Lost my tools. What would they gone? Oh, there. Okay. Mm. I just want to do some little bit of breathing through there. She's got some fluff here that I can use to help me. Um, let me just put in her face features. I've got to do this because it's drying, so we've got to get that bit done. 
and then she's got this really big nose going on. And this one over the side. Just pushing her nose forward. Oh, the things you could do if you had more than an hour. Oh, I just hacked her face up, sorry. Okay, so there she sat there, and the only thing I need to do is work on two things. One, just need to join her onto that neck. Right, two, next, several things I need to do. I need to move that leg because it needs to go under her head, not attached to the side. Two, let's just sort this neck out. So I'm going to put an extra neck piece in here. Sorry, I'm in the way. So I'm going to blend this in with a bit of shabby fur that I've got around her neck. Just a minute, water. We've got her basic shape coming in now. Just leaving that neck properly there. Again, if you've got more time, just do a decent blend here. Right, so um, oops, to the end. let's just give her this bit of fluff going on here. And I'm going to use that to blend my neck. Now, the reason why she's looking even weird at the minute is because I haven't got on her ears. Yeah, so I like this little shoulder coming here, and I like this shoulder coming here. Even on Tiny Kate, you can still get those details in, you know? Shoulder blade there, shoulder leaning over here. Let's pop us some ears on. Woo! Give me. Got my hat in the ear. So, modeling case, these are going to be so fast. So fast. Paste everywhere. Hopefully these ears will do the trick and then we'll be able to see her. I also need to give her a few minutes just to um, dry. Now I've added a blend. If I try and airbrush over the blend, I'm going to be in trouble. So, oh crap. Ears exactly the same as last week, but more than. Sorry, I know you can't see, but there's a limit. So... I think we get, whoa, look at that donkey. Made a donkey. I always do that. I cut them and think they're perfect, and then I put them on, and they're massive. I don't know why. I'm not very good at eyeing up. So there's the ear. I just fold it and put a skewer up, wet skewer. Why have I got my water over there? goodness sake let's try this again so you need to be thick enough your ear needs to be thick enough that it will swallow a skewer I don't know how big I can make these but I'm pulling out her head here we go 
stretch your brain. Obviously, you don't want your skewer to be so big that it comes out the other side. Is that the right place? Looks about right, I think. Oh, you can't see it. <laughs> see? Let me do the other one. Um, I need to figure it slightly back. I mean, they're moving about, the doesn't it? So it doesn't matter. Oh, I hate ears. I honestly just back about with ears all day long. Let's just get them on. I've still got the airbrush yet. Uh, next week I'm doing a slug. Just, just do. A, oh God, I nearly lost the thumb there. Next week slugs. Something easy, please. All right, hang on. second ear coming in, coming ear. This will be fun, getting it round that back end without going through it. Oh, got it. Between. Something like that. Can I do? Uh, what about a turtle next? I have got a turtle tutorial. You do not need me to do this a turtle in an hour. It's a perfectly good tutorial for them. Kind of cute though. I'll tell you what, do you know how close to a baby cow this is? Honestly, if you just made that nose a bit wider, you'd be in cow territory, wouldn't you? Right, we're getting there, getting there. Look at this, look at this. Suddenly we have an animal. Whether we have the right animal or not, I don't know, but we have an animal. Let's just have a little play. I'm trying to make the eyes um, not too small because obviously we're baby territory. And the one thing baby we've got is big eyes. I think she's really cute. I think giving an airbrush. Right, little tail. Let's do a little tail. Can't see the fourth leg, so I'm ignoring it. If you want to do a fourth leg, you can work out where it goes. Oh, I almost lost my leg again. So, little tiny tail. I'm going to do it. You know what? I'm going to do it. On my picture, I can see. Can you sit there? You can actually see the lower leg just coming in so basically it's sort of the underneath leg there and it's staring at me so let's do it and then we put a little cutesy tail on the end and then we will airbrush so tail right at the top there they're only little tails, aren't they? They're not massive. Um, but it does look textured, so just say tail. God, you got limbs and everything today. Whose idea was this? What like ATS? Okay, right, there we go. Waha! Check that out. That's supposed to go under there a bit more, but you can't really see it, can you? Um, okay, let's just. Mark out these the um, elbow. What are they? Knees, knees, knee joints a little bit more. Make sure we've got that. This bash bash. Airbrush time. Um, okay, so she's got spots. Where are we? <laughs> Wait a minute. Let me try and put her back a bit. She's so big today. Why is she so big? I and mean, she's not. Hang on a second. Sorry if this means you can see the whole everything in the back. Is that better? Can you see a bit more? A bit too close up to there. Uh, okay, so she's got spots. So although I have not got the time, you know what we have to do. You may not know what we have to do if you knew and didn't watch some of the other tutorials. Oh, there are not really many spots on there, okay? And actually, they probably won't stick. It's a bit wet. Where do the spots go? I'm not doing stripes as well, coat with being spotty. 
you know what heck I am doing so it's, uh, oh, honestly my <laughs> my ability to cut corners is zero can't do it damn cute though I have to say there's more spots than I can do so all I've got to do is get this colour right and I'm home free right 10 minutes to go I waffle for the first couple of minutes, don't I? So, you know. It would make a beautiful craft. Nikki, that's what I'm looking at. And they're incredibly similar. I think a craft is probably slightly wider on the muzzle, but I tell you what, they're, they're very, very close. Makes me think that we should do a cow. Uh, the problem is, is trying to do random. When you try and do random, it's very, very difficult, especially in the Russian. I don't want them to be in neat little lines. Yes, on. All right, the chances of me hitting this with an airbrush and those going flying is quite high, but never mind, we'll try. So I'm going to do autumn gold and then I'm going to just put a little bit darker brown through. Just like that, fish by bosh. Mess everywhere. Right, okay, let's do it. Woo! Clear out the way. Airbrush on. I'm not even going to talk to you about airbrush this week. I'm just going to do it. Um, I'm going to throw just a little bit of brown through. So I've got autumn gold in there, but it's very yellow. So let me just brown it up a tiny bit. I'm going to go into the picture now, not my wooden one, because I want to see a bit more of the real colour. Trying to get a browny, orangey, yellowy colour. And what I'm doing is throwing it over myself. So. Alright, there, it's you and me. Let's do this. So, nice quick all over. There's no white on him, is there, other than those spots? No. I've got the overhead lights on, so we try and apply slightly. Normally, I hit my. I'm going to be careful because I've still got a wet neck. So obviously, when you guys do this, you will spend a lot more time. You will go to. Where are you going to? You're going to the Cake Illusionist Sculpting. Or community because there's no point you doing this if you don't come and show me that's my one ask guys just find the community group and come and show me what you're doing i like to go on these journeys with people you know that's the only thing i ask is that you show me you give it a go and then you show me what you're doing um i think there's some white on the end of the tail if i'm remembering right right at the end or maybe just underneath I've got a bit of orange mixed in there. Orange, autumn gold. This isn't a one colour animal you're going to have to mix about. So I'm going lighter on her head. And then on her back I'm going to get darker. Obviously, you've got to get in and the nooks and crannies, which is uh, lovely and easy to do. I'm trying to leave the inside of areas white if I can. All right, let's have another little go over. So, I'm just going to now drop in about 50% brown so I get a darker colour. So, I'm going to go over her back with that. Uh, and then you'll have the two tones where you've got the dark colour at the top. And the lighter colour running at the bottom. I don't want to send them too dark, I don't think. The whole point about fawn is it's supposed to blend in, isn't it, with the grass and the ground and stuff. We just take one out and put a bit more of the orange through. And we'll be done. Airbrushing takes no time at all. The rest of it takes forever. Yeah. I 
I'll put the brown in now so it's hard for me to chase back up the colours. So really you want to make sure you get your lighter colour in first and down and then darken down. I think it's pretty much there. Actually I'm going to go and overdo it a bit much because the, the lights that I work with bleach out a little bit and it always looks lighter to you than it does to me. So I'll do it for you. I'll do it for you. I'm just going to darken up a bit more so you can see a bit better on your side. Doesn't really matter what I can see. Look how nice that neck looks now. Well worth doing it. Even if it is a bit of a fat. Right. I'm not quite happy. Nah. I just want to do one more turn around on it. Nah. I just want to get the bum bit. Then we'll see what these magic dots have done. Oh, 54. Let's just shade down. Go on either side of that. Still going to leave that tail a bit lighter. All right, turn it off. Turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. Let's see. One, two, three. Let's my hands. Four, five, six. Bam, 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 bam. Oh, it's so cool. Ready? I don't know what these white stripes are, but they're on the red thing, so you're getting one here too. Look at that. Filling on cake. Okay. A couple more things. All I'm going to do is find a paintbrush. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of, wait a minute, are you still there? Are you still there? Canada! <gasps> I've got a Canada! Yay! I'm slowly building out of the world. That's awesome. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, I've lost that. I'm working from three different screens. I've just realised that ah, it's gone up. Sorry, Sue. I didn't catch what that whole realisation about the three different screens was, but, you know, that's all good. Uh, right, so I'm just going to pop in... Wait, oh, I'm using my own drink again. Um, I'm pop in eyes. I don't know what's going on with his nose because I can't really see it on my picture. So I'm just going to do a very, very quick nose. I need to stop using my drink. Honestly, it's a good job I'm not doing anything with this. So I'm going to pop in. A quick nose and some quick eyes and a little bit of his dusting and call it done. Which will take me a minute, so you'll just have to chat amongst yourselves. Must I do this? Let's see. Um, Thought. Oh, I did. I did. I did. I knew I got some brown somewhere. So this is just brown dust. So let's see a little bit of brown dust. Can you have a look at that hoof. A little bit of brown dust on this hoof. You can paint the hoof or brown dust it, or a bit of both. Um, I'm going to just drop a bit of dust on the end of that nose as well. So it's a bit more of a natural cut kind of nose. Again, I don't have a picture. They've got white underneath. Don't they? Mm -hmm. Need a better reference picture. Oh, and that's scary. <laughs> I just want to do a bit of dusting around her mouth, but without putting too much down there because I think they're quite pale. But I need to do something to just show that it's there. So just a little bit. Um, and then I'm going to pop right in. And that's it. That's not bad, is it, for now? 
three legs, tail, neck, spots, When you're doing noses, always start with the smaller. Make them smaller, you can always make them bigger. If you put on a whacking great black nose and then decide it's too big, you're absolutely stuck. So always with the nose, start smaller. And then I'm just going to... I've done that bit, haven't I? I'm just going to pop in some eyes. Again, there's a lot more that could be done, but we don't. Right, let me see what they've got. Oh, hello, Sylvia. I didn't know you were there. Sylvia will go away and absolutely ace this. Come back and it will be like all spring meadowed and, you know, have a little butterfly on its nose and lemon bumper by its side. And all. She, just, she takes my starter designs and then absolutely aces them. And I've now got the muckiest hands in the world. So let's just paint those in. So he's not got zombie eyes, she's not got zombie eyes. And then we're done. So that's one. Can you see that? That's two. And one final thing, just because it's me, I can't cope with not having them. Even on some eyes a little capsule there we go there's a lot more I could do but and let me just see what's a good angle uh, let me just turn around like that can you see it like that there? What's better that one? There. So there we go. That's an hour. So your your tricky bit, yeah, got everywhere. The tricky bit is getting the neck. That's the difference. So obviously your fox is dead easy because the the neck's quite fluffy. So the neck just sits straight onto the body. So your tricky bit with this, the body shape's the same as the fox, but you have to work out this next section. Um. Don't know. Yeah. There we go. I don't know. You have to. You have to let me know. You have to let me know whether you think you think it's it's doable. Um, it's nuts doing that on an eight inch. But I tell you what, it looks really cute now. So I'm kind of happy with it. Um, if you did it with a ten inch, you'd get sort of like. Yeah, I reckon if you did it with a ten inch, you'd get close to life size, wouldn't you, on these things? But I reckon that's pretty cool. Not bad for now. All right, ladies and any gentlemen who are lurking. Um, that is your fallow gym one hour. Look, it's 9.02, so it's literally exactly an hour. I'll show you all the way around. So you see that neck join? Looks nice, isn't it? We've got some nice bone structure going on in there, even with such a small cake. And then a the little tail. So the only tricky bit really is getting this um, front leg on. Put the head on upwards. All right, do we have any questions quickly? Because sometimes I, I leg it and I think there might be questions. So um, do we have any questions? Oops. Um, all of you guys, the uh, wolf class is up and running. I know, I know, I think every single name on here, bless you all, is coming on the wolf class. The wolf class is my advanced structure class. So that's open to buy at the minute. Anyone who's new, um, there are lots of simpler classes so if you're a beginner i'd probably start with the bulldog or the turtle and the bulldog are the two best ones to start with because they're very forgiving bulldogs are very wrinkly and the turtle one is basically a round cake just you know with some fancy bits so um they're on the school they're the ones i would start with um if you're into 
really, really pushing your skills, then the uh, structured walk is up next. So that's on the school. The school is school.thecakeillusions.co.uk. That's school.thecakeillusions.co.uk. And in the meantime, jump in the community group, which is the Cake Illusionist Sculpting School Community. Find us on Facebook. We hang out there all day. Um, we chat all sorts of things about cake, and we generally just help each other out, lift each other up, and all of us improve week by week. So come and join. Uh, Nikki's asking, would you do the horse head first? So I've got a horse head class as well, which is really nice, sculpted bronze class. I think both structures are have, um, I think they're about level pegging. And they're both much more forgiving than you would imagine. There is a reason why I did a wolf, because they're um, very, very fluffy. So if you um, struggle with the covering, then we just add another layer of fluff. And the reason why the horse head is a bronze is again, if we have to do any patching, or we have to do um, any sort of like cover up work because it's a bronze, it just looks like part of the um, part of the design, you know. So so I always design my classes to be really, really forgiving because if it beats you up too much then then you won't come back and play. So so Caroline's asking for them again. So it's school dot the cake illusionist dot co dot uk. I will chuck links up everywhere, okay? But in the meantime, if you find the Facebook group, which is the Cake Illusionist Sculpting School Community, um, I'm on there. We all hang out on there. There's loads of it. All the ladies are chatting and giggling and stuff. Everyone's on the group. Um, come and find us. And then there's all the links to the tutorials. And I just generally help anyone out. And if you want me to talk through anything to do with this or any other other lives. Next week, I don't know. Um, I'm up for suggestions. Uh, Either check them on here or again check on the on the group. Tell me what you want to learn. Um, perhaps we can do something slightly simpler next week because this might have been a bit daunting for a few people. I don't know. Yeah, school dot uk. That's me. Thank you very much, Sally. Um, thank you everyone who's new and is watching this. And um, yeah, I will see you next Sunday, and I'll see you on the group in the meantime. All right, I'm going to go and clean my hair. Take care. Speak to you later. Um, and I'm actually going to turn you off this week. Look, there you go.